Hello everyone, my name is Melanie and welcome to my channel. Today, I am in day three of this devotion kit. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and pop that notification bell so you always know when I upload. Today's video is about Shalom. It's about completeness and wholeness. In the devotional for day three, there are a few different scriptures, but I'm using Judges 6, 23 through 24 to correlate the Hebrew Israelites' need for peace as they hid and fled for their lives and our need for peace as we are restless and worried about so much. From home life to work overload and all sorts of anxieties, not to mention the stress that can come from estrangement of family. The heartbreak of a loved one falling deeper and deeper into trouble and sin. Now we are into this holiday season where we can find chaos, confusion, scandal, and scams with every turn. This was another easy, quick, and fun entry my goal is to keep this devotional artwork fun and easy. We have uh, much, we have so much we dedicate our lives to, we shouldn't be stressed out about Bible journaling. I'm using the die cuts from the kit along with some burlap and that came in the kit. And after the purchase of the kit, the owner sends you free printables. So I printed the floral piece on sticker paper. And because my yellow ink is low, it came out light. But it worked perfectly for me. Once again, I'm using my envelope system. This is where I use a blank greeting card to write my prayer on. Then I seal it in the envelope. Then I write the verse I'm creating for on the envelope. In this video, I use some Distress Oxide Ink in Vintage Photo to apply it to the envelope and I use the makeup brush to do that. I adhered all the elements down with some crafter's tape or some liquid glue and called it good. Gideon's story picks up in Judges chapter 6, where we see the Hebrew Israelites running for their lives because they have disobeyed God once again. And because of this, their 40-year reign of prosperity and success came to a screeching halt. The seeking of temporary idols, worshiping golden calves, and other man-made gods led them astray. These fabric clips come in the kit, so I'm taking it apart. Then I separate the two fabrics, then cut one down the middle, then adhere it to the top of the page and layered a tab on top of it. Now we see a group of people who can't even grow their own food in peace. They can't live in their own house in peace and they can't survive even in the back end of caves in peace they are running scared this is what happens when we deliberately disobey god we find ourselves pressing wheat in a wine press we find ourselves uprooting our families to live in caves we find ourselves stressed depressed and burning down we find ourselves helpless when peace seems so far away, people sometimes result, result to other things to fill it. These things are mostly unholy and temporary. When the Israelites cried out to God, he heard them, sent them a prophet, and set the battle in motion for them to take back their land, their possessions, and ultimately their peace. Peace in their mind because they had finally heard from the God of their ancestors. Peace in their homes, because everyone was eating and happy. Peace on their jobs, because no one had to press wheat where they press wine. And peace in their soul, because they finally won the war and the battle. 
All this happened when they cried out to God, when they turned from their wicked ways, when they sat and listened to God tell them all he had done for them. The Lord said, I have brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. I rescued you from the hand of the Egyptians, and I delivered you from the hand of all your oppressors. I drove them out before you and gave you their land. I said to you, I am the Lord your God. Do not worship the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live, but you have not listened to me. Jesus is supposed to be the reason for the season. Why not take our cue from him and receive the gift of peace that he has given us? So whatever is broken can be fixed. Whatever is ruined can be repaired. Whatever is hurt can be healed. Whatever is unloved can be loved. Whatever is in bondage can be made free. Whatever is lost can be found. We can have shalom, but we can't have it without Jesus. So let's allow Jesus to love us in our struggles and meet us at our needs. Thank you for watching. Remember, the noblest thing to do is love yourselves. And as always, God bless you and yours.